This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. So in February of, uh, of this year, we actually had an interesting airway trial that was published. It was from this big data set called the Pragmatic Airway Resuscitation Trial Part. Okay? So in it, they asked kind of this question. Does it matter in cardiac arrest when we tube people and what we tube people with? So I kind of had these two groups who had cardiac arrest, both which had, uh, in, the, in those groups, they kind of randomized them to either get an endotracheal tube or to get like a combivent or something that's more of a supraglottic device. And then it asked, does it matter for their survival if they were tubed early, uh, which would meant like in the first like five minutes that actually a resuscitation team was there, or if they were tubed kind of later, and that later kind of meant like 20 minutes after the resuscitation was started, okay? So the question, does it matter what you tube them with? Yes or no? So Claire guessed no, and no is correct. And then, does it matter when you tube them? Yes, no, maybe. So this is something that's been debated by EMS and by emergency medicine for a long time about whether it's good to tube people who are in cardiac arrest or whether it's not. On the kind of good to tube people argument is, well, they're hypoxic, right? So maybe oxygenating them will help create that milieu that's going to restart their heart. On the bad side is, well, they're, you know, the hypoxia is not the big issue. And if you put a tube down and you inflate their lungs, that increases inter, intrathoracic pressure, which means you decrease venous return, which means that their heart's not getting as much blood. So we actually harm them by doing that. And then between the supraglottic devices, uh, like a cum event and an ET tube, the argument there is the supraclotic devices, when you blow them up, it's a big balloon that actually constricts blood flow to the brain. So are we creating more vegetative patients if we use those versus an ET tube? So these are all the things that we've been debating for the last basically decade. So the great answer is it don't matter. It does not matter whether you tube them early. It does not matter whether you tube them with an ET tube or a convent tube. It does not change survival at all. And for, and for all the studies that are there for cardiac arrest, what really matters? There are only two, two things. Really high quality CPR and electricity. Those are the two things that have a huge survival benefit. Everything else is just us doing stuff probably to just do stuff. So... There we go. Cardiac rest. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.